My wife and I are uh, UK citizens. All right. But we are uh, American residents. We own properties in both countries. All right. Uh, not out, not totally outright. Some mortgage, but uh, I'm going to settle that eventually next few years. Uh, so where do I write my will? I do have a will in the UK, leaving uh, we leave each other, uh, other everything. When one goes, the other gets it, and then it goes to a nephew. All right. But that's a UK will. But what happens? Is that sufficient to cover the USA? So, Yuri, we have done this quite often for UK residents, and in our opinion, you should have a U.S. will as well. That U.S. will is going to start by saying this. This will is only meant to govern those assets that are located within the U.S., I have another will in the U.K. to govern those assets in the U.K. So in my opinion, Yuri, you should have a will in the U.K. and a will in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I, I just wasn't sure uh, whether one whether it's too complicated to have two wills or whether it's a prudent thing to do. I think it's a prudent thing to do. Now, Yuri, we would love to help you with that. But remember, when we're going to talk about your will, Yuri, we're going to also talk about how to avoid probate, how to make things simple, easy, inexpensive for your kids when you pass away. And while I'm, while I'm on that point, Yuri, I'm going to say this, that when we have done, when Chrissy and I have done our complete job, we've done some work, the clients have done some work to avoid probate on real estate, bank accounts, et cetera. If we do that, then Yuri, at the end of the day, what your will says does not matter because what's happening to your assets is not governed by your will. It's governed by how you filled out your beneficiary designation forms on your life insurance, IRAs, and retirement accounts, how you made your bank accounts POD, payable on debt to your kids, and how you do your real estate with the ladybird deeds to avoid probate. The ladybird deeds control what happened to your property. So, Yuri, we'd love to help you. That's the Olson Law Group in Orlando. Feel free to call us next week at 407-423-5561.